Now let's talk about appointment of judges. On Tuesday, the 12th of May, the Lagos State Governor Babadze Sanwolu swore in eight new judges of the High Court of Lagos. Amongst those appointed as judges were the former Chief Registrar of the Court, the former DPP, magistrates and some legal practitioners. With the swearing-in of the eight new judges, the High Court of Lagos now has a total of 61 judges. But outside of Lagos, criticisms are trading the recent shortlist of 70 lawyers approved by the NJC for appointment as judges for other courts. The latest scandal over the judicial nominations made in 2020 by the National Judicial Council warrants a criminal inquiry. The Attorney General of the Federation should, in good conscience, activate such an inquiry urgently because the scandal is a small window to the alarming corruption in our judicial institution and highlights the sordid conspiracies which have surrounded judicial appointments and promotions in Nigeria recently. If you are a member of the NJC, you can arrange the appointment of your loving but unqualified mistress to the federal bench. So why should we be surprised that in the recent exercise, public office has again been shared out to unqualified and underachieving offspring of connected persons, as well as to wives, sisters, girlfriends, and various acolytes of members of the NJC and their political sponsors. There is no reason other than corruption that a system of public appointments should be shrouded in secrecy. If the candidates cannot be open to public scrutiny, this is an admission of fraud. Judicial appointment and promotion must be open, competitive, merits-based and verifiable by the public. I am worried because the judiciary, especially the NJC, should be an agency that keeps to its own rules because it is appointing people who will uh, adjudicate life matters, giving people job to exercise enormous powers, powers that have to do with life and death and with the prosperity of this nation. If you go to the NJC guideline for appointment of judges, you will see that based on that guideline, there are four categories of people qualified to, uh, uh, to, to become judges of superior courts. NJC made this rule to streamline the number of people that can be interviewed for available uh, spaces. One of these persons is the private practitioner, a legal practitioner in private practice, a legal practitioner in public service known as law officer. Then you have uh, someone who is chief magistrate of a uh, chief uh, magistrate of a court or chief registrar of a court. This fourth category of people are qualified to become uh, high court judges. However, in the list we have now, there are less than three chief registrars, there are less than four chief magistrates, there are only two private uh, practitioners, nobody from public service as legal officer. We cannot have a judiciary of people with special connection, insider dealing, Supreme Court nominees, children of judges. Being a good judge is not based on inheritance. It's hard work, dedication, and passion. And here's where we adjourn till next week. Don't forget that you can watch again this episode of the program and past episodes on our YouTube channel. I'm Shola Feely. Thank you for watching.